Howdy, this is a Canuck Cowboy coming to you again from the wonderful land of Canada. We have a beautiful snowy afternoon here. You can just see it's gorgeous out around here. I have another little cool carbine to show you here. This is the, uh, as many of you probably recognize, this is the Henry Repeating Arms Carbine. This is sort of like their just typical uh, uh, 22 lever action rifle only. This is the carbine version. It's got a 16 and I think a half inch barrel and it's just the whole thing's just short and handy. I'm not really sure what the overall length is but it's not very long and it's got this really cool uh, sort of cowboy big loop lever sort of deal on it which is pretty sweet. Nice handling. Uh, if you've ever handled the Henry's you'll know these ones are it's probably the slickest action that you're ever going to uh, come across and uh, the fit and finish is just gorgeous. This is a beautiful little rifle. I'll just bring this up close to you just so you can sort of see. I don't know if you can focus in on that or not, but you can just see the uh, the woodwork and everything on it. It's just gorgeous. It's a really nice little piece. Anyway, I'll get just, uh, I've already loaded it for the sake of time. I've got some uh, uh, what are they? Winchesters and Federals. I don't know. They're just mixed in together. Uh, just Typical standard hollow point 22 long rifle. So let's see what it does. That's all she wrote. I think it only holds about 700 in there, but um, I think it's, I'm thinking it holds 15 long rifle and probably quite a few more than that uh, shorts. So it's very handy. You got lots of shots in there when you need them. And as you can see, it cycles out pretty fast. Woo! Okay, now I'm gonna cycle through some, uh, the, I haven't used these extensively. I've used CB Shorts, CCI CB Shorts. They're amazing little rounds. If you haven't tried them out or played with them, I highly recommend you do try that. But uh, I have actually gone out and purchased some CCI CB Longs. They're supposed to be same thing, only in long rifle. Uh, they're very cool as well. The only thing I've noticed is that um, they are actually a little louder than the shorts. I've just Maybe it's just out of this gun with the shorter barrel, but that's just been my experience with them. I haven't tried them extensively, so, you know, if it's out of just this length of the barrel or something. I have tried them in a longer barreled version. They seemed a little louder than the shorts anyway to me, but, you know, it might just be my experience. I'm not sure. Or maybe these are some very loud loading or something. I don't know. But they're still very quiet. I mean, I'm not complaining because... Uh, they are definitely, definitely subsonic, like it's written on the uh, on the package. So I'm just going to load some of these in here. I'm also going to show you how it loads here. It's just very typical, like every other, well, not every other, but every other tube-fed 22 long rifle. It just you pull that tube out. It's got a little slot there, and you just drop them in. I think it holds. I think I say 15, 14, something like that. I may be wrong. Should have counted them. I think that's all she's got. So, then you just push it in, and it just slides back into that little notch there. Now, let's see. Alright. Here, we move the two liter here. Oh, tried to take the cap off them, but these are so uh, light rounds. Just went through, I think. That's all. As I say, it's a great little purchase. I've been looking at Henry's for a while, and this one really caught my eye because of the uh, short length and just handiness of it. They're a great, great little 22 uh, repeater. If you're in the market for something like that, 
I would highly, highly recommend this little firearm. It's just a good time in a box. Cannot cowboy out.